Tell me I'm not relatable by not telling me. How much is a bus ticket in London? I uh, don't know. I take trains. So I've been following Suzanne Hall on Twitter, and it's quite interesting. She's the mayoral candidate for 2024 and a rival to Sadiq Khan. And she's constantly bashing Sadiq, which, you know, everyone should be held accountable to what they're trying to do. But she's sort of playing by the Boris Johnson playbook. Make a bold statement, then just not back it up with facts. So the car crash LBC interview she did, that was interesting. She was asked how much a policeman earns, and she was like, um, in the 30s, 60 all in. Playing fast and loose with the numbers as a politician, that's quite rare. And the latest thing on Twitter, she's done a video where she's going to invest 200 million in recruiting more policemen and basically bolstering up the force. Where, where's the 200 million coming from? I don't know. Because that's what people want to hear. Now, 200 million is a lot. I don't know how she's going to get the numbers, because even I'm thinking, wait a sec, where's that going to come from? If Sadiq is having problems trying to allocate money, then how is she going to do it? So, Suzanne Hall, how are you going to get more policemen on the beat? Why are you always talking to me about finances? Well, that's how it works. So you have to allocate money to get more people on the streets. What? Look at her manifesto. Point two is scrapping ULEZ on day one. Point five is bringing cleaner air to London. What? The whole thing about the 100 million pounds to the police force reminds me of the 1962 film Mancurian Candidate, where this senator could not come up with the right number of how many communists there were. So they looked at a ketchup bottle and just decided 57. So the whole point of the section was, oh yeah, there's 57 communists in. It's just a nice round number that you can remember. Now, Suzanne Hall's 100 million is the same thing. It's just a nice round number. How are you going to get there by fudging the numbers, changing things around? Don't know, that's not important. And the fact that she's an arch Brexiteer is quite interesting because even Nigel Farage has rode away from the whole disaster that it is. But hey, if you want to stick to your convictions, that's great, go ahead. So in effect, someone who's actually not relatable by not actually taking public transport or knowing how much probably milk costs. The problem with these overconfident people is the fact that people buy into it because they're desperate to actually have that thing. So that's how they play on. Now, who's the last person that was overconfident and bullish? Do you think we should wreck the economy? Yeah, yeah, I think we should. I like your style. I like the way I just don't listen to anybody else. Hmm. Okay.